Now with this question, what I've done is drawn a sketch just to illustrate what's going on. And you might want to do something like this, but you know, I leave it up to you, obviously. Um, but what I've got here then is our particle P and it's moving along the x-axis. And the acceleration of P at time t seconds, we're told, is t minus four meters per second per second in the positive x direction. So you can see I've labeled the positive x direction here. So we've got it accelerating in that direction. And we're also told that the velocity of p at time t seconds is v meters per second. So I've got this all happening at time t. We're also told that when t was zero, that the particle p was moving with a velocity v equal to six. So it's got to be moving this way because it's in the positive x direction. And we've got to find out what v is here in terms of t for part a. So for part a, how are we going to go about something like this? Well, we're given the acceleration and it varies because it's a function of t. And we should know that normally we get acceleration by differentiating v with respect to time. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. But if we're working backwards, then to get velocity, it is equal to the integral of acceleration with respect to time. Now, we know what the acceleration is, it's t minus 4. So this is going to be the integral of t minus 4 then with respect to time. And if we integrate this in the normal way where we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, we get t squared over 2. And then for a constant, you just put a t on the end, okay, if we're integrating respect to t, so it's going to be minus 4t. But what we've got to be very careful about is to remember the constant of integration. You can call it any constant, uh, any value you like. I'm just going to call it uh, c here. Now, we need to find out what that constant of integration is. I'm going to call this equation 1. And to do that, we need to look at any conditions we're given. And we were told that when t equals 0, that velocity v was 6. So we could say here that when t equals naught, v equals 6. And we can substitute these two values into equation 1 and get what that constant of integration is. So if I say sub in 1, okay, sub in equation 1, we've got v here, which is 6 then. So we've got 6 equals... And if you put t equals naught into this first term and the second term, you're clearly going to get 0. And so that leaves us with c, c equals 6. So we can sub this back into equation 1, again, sub in 1, and we get v in terms of t. We end up with, therefore, v equals t squared over 2 minus 4t, plus that constant of integration, which we've now found out, is 6. So there you go, v in terms of t.